My biggest thing so far is that I really, really, really hate sleeping on the floor and my bed frame did get delivered. So I think I'm gonna work on assembling that and going from there. I really wanna tackle the bedroom, the closet and the bathroom because those are the most uh, messy right now. And the kitchen and living space will kind of just save for less. But Daphne, let's get to assembling the bed frame. No more sleeping on the floor. So sick of installing things on my own with a singular Allen wrench. If I had a real screwdriver, this job would be done in half the time. Like, I can only twist so many times, things get in the way. Like, please, can we stop sending Allen wrenches and say, hey, you have to have a Phillips head screwdriver. Sorry about that. I feel like every adult should just own a screwdriver or a toolbox for that sense. I got one for Christmas, my dad bought me one. Cause he said, you know what? You live on your own now, kid. It's time to have a toolbox, okay? I'm so sick of using Allen wrenches. I'm trying this new thing where I don't exhaust myself and do too much all at once because I am the queen of trying to do everything all at one time when it's usually a multiple person job and I am just one gal. But I am going to tell myself to stop. I am going to actually put an end to my busyness today and just relax for a little while and then go to bed a little bit early because I was up till about midnight last night doing the podcast. So I'm going to relax, take it easy, and we will pick it up again tomorrow. Yesterday's bout of normalcy was wearing jeans. I didn't want to wear jeans again today, so I'm just wearing like a hoodie and yoga pants, courtesy of Aerie, of course. Also, can we just appreciate how much Daphne loves this rug and the sunlight that comes in from this new apartment? Do you 
you love the sunshine? Today's agenda, I need to go to the post office and send out some items off Poshmark that people have bought. Then I need to go to Target. And I'm not going to Target to be like, ooh, what do I need from Target? Let me get this. Ooh, cute. Let me get this. Let me get this. No, Target, I actually have an agenda. I literally just need vinegar and I need conditioner for my hair. And then I need to get my brother a birthday present. That's it. I'm not going to Target to like pitter around. I actually have an agenda at Target. I know, crazy because usually I don't. And lastly, I need to go grocery shopping because my fridge is currently empty. I have nothing in there right now, which is so unlike me. So I literally need to do like a top to bottom restock. So it is time to get that. So let's go. Men's clothes actually suck. Like, there's not a lot of variety. Do you want a t shirt? Or do you want a collared shirt? It's like your only options, basically. Literally, always get the loud card. Always. Fun fact is, I've kept every card I've ever been given. And I love cards, there's just something about it. So, when I'm getting somebody a birthday card, I take my time. I will be like thoroughly searching for the perfect card. My kitchen and living room area are still the two rooms that I have yet to tackle, so they're still a mess. And you are currently being balanced on a giant container of coffee. I wanted to give you a quick grocery haul of what I picked up at the Fresh Market to just have a basic restock of things in my fridge because again, she's empty. Rotisserie chicken to start because I work the next two days and rotisserie chickens are just easy, pull apart and boom, you have like lunch and dinner for the next two days. These almond flour chocolate chip cookies, my absolute favorite. They're also gluten-free, which is like a bonus and they don't really taste like it. Some cherry tomatoes and some dates because I'm gonna make more of the chocolate peanut butter dates. Trying something different, this is a soy ginger dressing. It can also be a marinade as well. I love ginger, so can't go wrong. Some dill pickles, blueberries. Got some lettuce, I got romaine, and then a baby spring mix. Carrots and some pineapple. Again, kind of wanting to try out new dressings and sauces. I got this roasted garlic aioli. Lemons, cucumbers, and of course, eggs. One of my toxic traits is that when I go grocery shopping and spend a little over $100 on groceries, I still want to buy something for lunch. I went to Yafo Kitchen, which is like another like Mediterranean style place. Like I love places like that. Kava, Yafo, my two favorite. I got a chicken salad. Oh, this looks so good with like feta and pickles. Oh, delicious. Just take it slow I'll wait to find love 
Honestly, I haven't even been vlogging like the last several hours or so because the last little bit has been relatively boring. It's just been finding a home for certain things. However, it is 10 until 11 p.m. I have to work in the morning and I gotta be up at 5.30. So I need to go take a shower and uh, my clothes are finishing in the dryer right now. And once those are done, I'm gonna give them a quick fold. Work for the next two days, off for the weekend. Connor's coming, I'm celebrating my brother's birthday with my family, I'm so excited. <sighs> Big stuff, never sleep though. Bus, club, another club, another club. Good morning! It is officially crunch time, it is Friday. Connor is going to be coming over later this evening and he's staying for the weekend to come hang out with me. I need to get this place looking nice again. I'm not doing it specifically for him. He's one of my best friends. He does not care what my space looks like, but for the hostess in me, I want this place to look nice and also for my own mental sanity. I am sick of looking at it like this and like this. And honestly, a lot of what you're seeing right here are just like empty boxes that I need to get out of here. But it's time to like really buckle down and organize and that's what I'm going to do right now. In true Kayla fashion, I keep bouncing around from room to room. I was like, oh, I'm gonna work in the kitchen and work that way. I have been like a ping pong ball bouncing between the living room, the bedroom, the laundry room. So there is no method to my madness right now, other than I just keep bopping around. I'm back in the living room right now and I'm working on this corner. This is my Ikea mirror that I ended up getting. I think I wanna leave it in this corner. I just feel like the lighting is the best. That's not why we're here. This apartment has vertical blinds and I'm not really a fan of them. And I am so thrilled to have like a floor to ceiling window that I can let in natural lighting. I can have um, Daphne really enjoy the lighting. Also like I love the lighting. So I'm very thrilled. I do not foresee myself using the little thing to like open and close the blinds multiple times. So I looked up on TikTok how to take down vertical blinds and I'm taking down the vertical blinds one by one. And I guess whenever I move out of this place, I'll put them back up. But for now, goodbye blinds. That broke. Didn't mean for that to happen. You know, if I was actually 5'10 or six foot, like most of the internet thinks that I am, this would be way easier. But I'm not. I'm five feet, four inches. 